Yamaha R3 Blue Crew Super Finale returned to the Algarve International Circuit in Portimao for its second staging. 22 riders from eight different nationalities, aged between 14 and 18, bidding for a fully supported place on the grid for the 2024 European Championship. Gonzalo Sanchez topped Super Pole by an impressive six tenths of a second and duly dominated proceedings in race one. The Spaniard has already impressed by beating several R3 graduates in his National Supersport 300 Championship, which he leads by a commanding 66 points with two rounds remaining. But the bigger surprise was his margin of victory. The field unexpectedly spread out right from the opening lap. But there was plenty of action behind Sanchez nonetheless. A 10-rider group battling it out for sixth place in the early laps. Cameron Swain, the front-runner in that scrap on the number 26 after qualifying P3. 15-year-old for whom this debut trip to Europe also included the French round of the R3 European Championship three weeks earlier, already boasts plenty of experience thanks to his 2022 season in the Asia Talent Cup and Australian Supersport 300. He was also the winner of the ASBK Yamaha R3 Cup this year. A nine-place grid penalty for his fellow countryman Marcos Hamod compromised his race one, which ended in the gravel trap on lap five, thinning out that group. There was also a four-rider scrap for second. In Christian Pucci and Guido Fina, two of the top eight from the Italian R3 Cup invited to represent their national series. With them, Mario Sales, who's already done battle with European Championship regulars Manso and Fontaine in the FIM Latin American Championship this season, and Natalia Rivera, who currently sits second in the European Women's Championship and has also ridden in Spanish Supersport 300 this year. Pucci dropped over two seconds back in that quartet when he served a long lap penalty on lap five for irresponsible riding. But with the fastest lap of the race on lap eight, he hauled himself back into contention. Fina also had a penalty to serve, but missed his window to do so and took a double long lap penalty as a result. That left him resigned to fifth. Now, three contenders remained for two places on the podium. Salas, with track position, defended valiantly through the two long right-handers at the end of the final lap, but the Brazilian was pushed back to fourth in a photo finish, Pucci crossing the line second, but relegated to third for a track limits infringement at the final turn, and Natalia Rivera taking the 20 points. It's a beautiful race. I passed the race, all, everything uh, in the race, thinking in the gap, but I put six seconds, uh, I'm very happy, thank you to my team, that's it, Arco Motor University, thank you to Yamaha España, and thank you for all to visit the circuit, thank you. Gonzalo Sanchez was again the rider to beat in race two, but this time he was kept more than honest by his closest rivals, Pucci, Salas and Fina keeping themselves in contention for overall honours by remaining in a five-rider group at the front. Natalia Rivera dropped out of the running for the title with a brake problem. Cameron Swain joined the podium scrap this time. Sanchez held an advantage of a quarter of a second at the end of lap one, but it wasn't enough to break the slipstream as he had earlier in the day, and that was as big as his lead ever was. Relegated to fourth on the opening lap, he remained patient, knowing that with Rivera out of the running, a second place finish would be enough to take the overall win. On lap four, he got back into top spot and took control of the group, leading the next three laps over the line, albeit still coming under pressure from behind. The number 42, Salas, appeared Sanchez's closest rival, the lead constantly changing hands between the two, and the pair broke away on lap seven to make it a head-to-head -head duel. Fina and Pucci rather tripping over one another at Portimao's slowest took corner turn three and allowing the leaders to escape away. A subsequent long lap penalty dropped Fina even further back, but Pucci did recover and the three podium contenders were briefly neck and neck, only for the number 15 to run wide at turn one and lose the impetus again. Trying to recover on lap eight, he fell from third place in race two and that cost him the same position in the super finale overall. Meanwhile, with the race red flagged, Gonzalo Sanchez had done enough to win for the second time and claim gold. The late retirement of Christian Pucci promotes Cameron Swain onto the podium and that gives him third in the super finale behind Mario Sales, a commanding 17-point winning margin for Gonzalo Sanchez.
in all the race, I fight with, uh, with my partners. It's a difficult race because I don't have a gap to, to, to do the race. Uh, yeah, it's uh, what I say, it's a difficult race. Uh, now I'm the, the R3 Super Finale winner. Thank you to my team, to my family, to my friends. Uh, and that's it. Thank you for all. 2022 winner Emiliano Ercolani went on to take the European Championship in 2023. That's the target now for Gonzalo Sanchez after his victory in the 2023 Yamaha R3 Blue Crew European Super Finale.